here with uh, Rob Akins, and, and you have the daunting task of cooking in one of the largest restaurants in New York City, the Rainbow Room. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, I mean, it's, it's something I've never, it's not something I've never really done before. I mean, I've, I've worked in a lot of restaurants, but as far as like an event space, um, it's a whole new experience for me. I mean, I came on board uh, 2000, October 2014, and you know, we do events from 100 up to 400. And it could be anything from just past canapes to live stations to a full sit-down dinner. And, you know, it's just another another area where I've never, it's just something that I've never really done before as far as, like, sending out events of that size. And, you know, it's just another thing that I've accomplished in my career of learning how to flawlessly send out, you know, 400 plated dinners. And um, you know it's 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 gone very well for me, and I really enjoy it. And you know it's another sort of notch on my career, so it's something I've experienced. And we have a great team there, and it's obviously a beautiful, beautiful dining room in the Rainbow Room, and the kitchen as well. I mean, it's very well equipped, so we have all the tools necessary to accomplish the job. And you know, I thoroughly enjoy it. And also, we have one of the most amazing views of the of the city as well, so that's not too bad. Right now, um, as we're coming into the summer season, when a lot of people go out of the city, we're really open right now. Is on sun Sunday brunch, okay. so we do a full a la carte menu, and it's really sort of, I'd say, a, a much higher end uh, menu than a lot of restaurants where, you know, we do things like a lobster benedict, which we finish with a cetra caviar. Um, we do like a whole um, uh, salmon tower where we do like our own house cured hot smoked salmon, pastrami cured salmon. Uh, we do salmon riette, and it's all finished with uh, salmon caviar and uh, cetra caviar. So there's a lot of like, you know, I think higher end um, dishes you're going to see in, in our in our in our restaurant versus others, and um, but also just. Uh, Coming in to see a space like that with the view and everything, it just adds another element to it. And then we also do our own in-house cured bacons as well. We do uh, a maple a maple cured uh, pork belly bacon. Uh, we do a Canadian style uh, pork loin bacon as well. And then we do a pastrami cured salmon, which is kind of like a, a bacon, so to speak, yeah. but with salmon. Um, so we sort of though. have like, you know, different flavors for everybody so it's, it's really a, I think quite a special experience but so many chefs have gone through that kitchen mm -hmm. I mean do you ever step back and say oh my god I'm standing in the same place where you know who fill in the blank you know a famous chef no I mean I think I think for me I mean you know a place that's had so much history I mean it's been open since the, the, the 30s and you know I, I've looked through some of the old menus and it's just Amazing to see a space like that is still survived. Because I mean, you know, you see restaurants in New York City. I mean, some are open six months and they close. I mean, a place like this. I mean, it's so well known. It's been open for so many years. I mean, it's great to see, you know, a place like that that's still going on and it's still, you know, refreshing itself and doing something new and adventurous. And you know, it was closed, you know, shut down to complete renovation for four years and it opened up. And I mean, it's just a, such an amazing space. And it's nice to. To, to, to go to a place where it's always reinventing itself and you know I feel very privileged to work there I mean just because it's such a beautiful place I mean I've never worked in a space like that before and it's, and it's nice to go in every day and you know do, do what we do it really is every event is different from day to day so you know you're doing an event from 200 to 300 to 400 and every menu is different so you know for me I mean the biggest challenge for me in, is, is being on top of to making sure that we have all the ordering in place and to make sure that we have everything coming in at the right time and just you know it's a lot of planning ahead for the week of the events and what we have to do whereas a, a restaurant you know you know you have the same menu for that whole week or for you know that season and it doesn't change so you can pretty much you know plan out your whole week or whatever but for me the biggest challenge was is, is planning out every day to make sure you have in you know those ingredients for that set set menu because I mean the client when they come in I mean they have a choice of you know 30 30 appetizers 30 entrees and and the same for the dessert so I mean they can have a whole spectrum of things that they want to order and so I mean the biggest challenge for me was making sure we have 
all those ingredients in house. Cooking runs in your family. Your brother is also a chef. Yeah. Tell me about because chefs will tell me that maybe it was one of their mother's dishes or maybe it was one of their grandmother's dishes that turned them on to cooking. Mm -hmm. Maybe your brother and you had the same experience. I don't know. But. I mean, it was it was a very similar experience. I mean, we were both. You know, we were we were both troublesome kids. I mean, we were always messing around at school, and we were just very hyper, very energetic. We loved sports. We loved being outdoors and things like that. And we both never thought we would have desk jobs because we were just too active and just. We were very interested in what I'm growing up as kids. From I'd say five years onwards, we were always very interested in what she was doing in the kitchen and people like you know she made she made the cakes or desserts we'd be the ones licking licking out the bowls after she'd uh, she made the dessert or cakes and then also you know in the UK I mean it's very traditional to have Sunday Sunday lunch and we'd have friends and family over and she'd have you know ten things going on the stove and in the oven and you know we'd be doing a Sunday Sunday roast be a pork chicken or beef um, but also not only that we're getting into from now uh, we would go to France pretty young as well. Our father was in the wine business, so we're exposed to restaurants at a young age. Do I dare ask you mm -hmm. who the better cook is, your brother or you? Are there fights about this? Or? No, I mean, there's, I, I don't think there's any fights. I mean, <laughs> I think we're both, I think our sort of, we're both very different in the way we cook. I mean, for myself, I'm, I'm, I'm Though I'm working in the Rainbow Room, I mean, I, I, lo I really love that. I mean, I've also done, I've done fine dining, I've done relaxed dining, I've done comfort food, I've done high end, and, um, you know, I love both. And, you know, I think my heart is sort of more in sort of raspberry comfort, but I also appreciate fine dining. Like, I love what I do at the Rainbow Room. And, I mean, Tom has always been sort of pushing to go Michelin, Michelin, Michelin. And, uh, and he's done that, and he's done very well with his career. And I think he also appreciates the comfort side of it, of doing... When I went, I went back to, uh, to the UK for a few years as well, when we first started Tom's Kitchen. So it's kind of like a, a British brasserie, so to speak. So it's, it's a French brasserie, but with British touches on it. So there'll be some classic dishes like fish and chips, I mean, you know, chicken pie and things like that. Um, but I mean... You know, I think day to day people want to sort of eat, eat sort of casual, relaxed, sort of comforting food, and, you know, and that's sort of my passion as well. And you know, Tom has always driven sort of Michelin high end, and I think that's him. That's his thing. Mine is more sort of the comfort side of it, but I mean, I still love doing the high end, like we do at Rainbow Room as well. So I mean, there's a little variance, but I mean, we both we both really passionate about what we do, and we both love to cook. I mean, that's. That's the key thing is you have to love what you do.